guys welcome back to a new vlog so today is officially the first full day in paris obviously because we arrived yesterday so i'm just quickly going for breakfast i haven't done my face luckily my day starts quite late i do think though from tomorrow i'm gonna have to wake up a bit earlier because i didn't time myself very well um so yeah um and the clippings took quite a bit because i had to fix two of them like the clips were not working so i had to put two new clips on them but that should be fine now and i had to straighten them so i think i'm gonna try and make sure i plan my outfits the night before and i straighten my clippings the night before so that it doesn't take me too long um so yeah just wanted to start the vlog if you are new here welcome if you're returning thank you so much for coming back so yeah if you didn't watch the previous vlog you wouldn't have seen that i'm going to be spending three weeks in paris so i'm gonna try to vlog as much as i can i know today we have like some sightseeing so in instances where i can't really have like the vlogging camera in my face i will take b-roll i think i should just rather take b-roll on my camera than on the phone because then sometimes i forget to transfer the footage but yeah i'm gonna come back do my makeup after this work for a little bit and then yeah so let's go have some breakfast i'll catch you guys when i come back and then this is my outfit for today i don't know if you guys can see just have like a black polo neck top with these gray jeans it's more of a casual day and this black blazer which is quite warm so let's go Hey guys so i look presentable ready so i decided i would wear these little huggies that i got from poetry i feel like it's more than enough jewelry for the fact that it's cold and we're not trying to be too much because i'm like casual today is that what i can call it but yeah um i've done my makeup it was quick and easy and also let me just say my sister put me on with the mr price what is it Too Faced brow pencil it is the one because i actually threaded um i tweezed my own brows because i didn't have time to get them threaded but i definitely love the final look um and obviously i did my lashes at uh caked by candy she's based on brineston and i love them like i was like to her i want something not too long and something that i can have like an everyday look with and she basically delivered um i did spray my face but i didn't want to spray too close to the lashes because i want them to last as long as possible otherwise i'm gonna have to find a place to refill like when i get to the two week mark because then i don't know what they're gonna look like but i did carry a, a pair of lash me baby lashes just in case i don't find a place so i'll just try like stick over hopefully that works and it doesn't look like a mess but yeah i love what the makeup looks like nice and simple not too much i think um, obviously the blush looks a bit more red on camera but it's going to settle down i think i just need to spray a bit of setting spray there and you guys know i love me this like literally this was the holy grail in italy i hope it's the holy grail here in france as well um yeah, I just sprayed a bit there. I have a bit on my lashes, but I guess it will be fine. Um, hopefully that sets that and puts it in place. But this is my outfit. Yo, guys, I need to start working out again. So I have these denim jeans. I was about to sell them, and thank God I didn't. They're from Cotton On. Um, they're high waist. Just wore them with the black. Um, so black black and then a black coat and i'm obviously gonna try to layer up and then i have a black scarf which i'm going to use so yeah i was working before i decided to quickly do my face but the lighting in here is so much better okay so you can basically see the colors so i'm wearing this with like a polo neck and the boots i'm gonna try find another polo neck today if i can if not i'll try wash this one so i can at least either wear it next week or i don't know but yeah let us get going i'm gonna vlog quite a bit today on the camera because i want to go look for gloves um and a couple of warm things and i'm going with abigail so i'll be able to vlog a bit more for you guys Six months. This time was shit. 
Wait, why is it dark now? We do care. Look. Look at my greetings. Say, say hi. You usually tell us something in a hurry. Finally got gloves, came to the shopping center and they have poles. If you guys know, this is actually French origin. And we found these at like a sports center. Then we went to Primark. And yeah, are you happy now? Yes. <laughs> and they have like all these stores. So now we're heading back to the hotel. Heading back to the hotel. And then we're gonna quickly grab something to eat. And why do I look so pale today? I think the cold starts. Like I look so yellow. No, we start us let it focus. I literally okay. look light in complexion. Okay, now my scarf needs to go back on. <laughs> okay. You have my own glove. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> because it is cold. Oh my god, I can sense it from here. Me too, my face. Okay, oh. <laughs> bye guys. <laughs> we are waiting for the Uber and it's cold. It looks perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, okay, we literally okay. dress like just we left. He's here. Where? You said I'm here. Just we left. Bonjour. Bonjour. Some I am my enemy. Hi guys, <laughs> this is the view from today and the downstairs and then people's offices. So literally if I'm sure if I stand here naked they can see me. Do you think it's like one of those that you don't see from the outside? Mm, I don't know. Okay guys, so I don't know where we are, but we're lost. Just want to show you guys, it's freezing. My hands are frozen and then there's this like, I don't know if this is a basilica or what, but yeah, we are lost, but soon we'll be found. <laughs> so I was wrong guys, it's not basilica, basilica is Italian. La Iglesia, La Iglesia is French for the church. And I think this is like the more expensive side, where we are is not so expensive. Kenzo, Ikea. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is like so deep. As you guys can see. Oh my word! 
here. Oh my gosh, I just got like uh, goosebumps. <laughs> Literally. Left hand feels so heavy, anchored to your memory. Ravage through my brain, oh, loose in the china shop. It goes not stop. I don't wanna fight no more. Or I got me on the floor. Breaking stuff that's so sentimental. Push and pull is all we do. Life is hollow. Today's Thursday. I've hardly vlogged this week because it's been so busy and hectic. But yeah, we are almost there in terms of this week. So um, I'm really about to head down to breakfast. So to show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this um, sort of like snake print dress that I have. I have it with stockings and these boots that I got from... Um, Woolworths so yeah if you ever find like boots on sale at Woolworths I would really advise that you get them but yeah heading off to breakfast and then we're going to start the day we've been finishing like really really late but at least I have a little bit of the weekend and next week to explore more of Paris because I actually haven't seen much so that's the only consoling factor but I think I look cute let us head down guys i thought i'd come vlog you guys have been seeing me just in this room but we are off to dinner i didn't really redo anything to my face i just fixed my lipstick guys i think i need to go redo my smile lines they're coming back they're not as deep as they used to be before but they're definitely coming back i'm not changing i'm just going to put um um i'm just going to put a coat on because we're gonna take a cab because by the time we're coming back the metro is going to be closed um but yeah today's thursday tomorrow we finish earlier we finish at like two so hopefully i'll be able to do some stuff and over the weekend of course so we'll definitely do that and then yeah i think from tomorrow the vlog is gonna be a little more interesting than it actually has been because this whole week i've literally just been indoors so yeah okay hey guys welcome back so today's saturday i actually decided to sleep in today but i've decided i'm heading out now i think i want to go see the eiffel tower from up close so the metro from me is actually closed today the line so i'm not going to be able to use it so i am um, gonna take an uber even though it's quite pricey i think it's just better that way and i don't get lost so i'm gonna take an uber and then i'll see if um walking from the eiffel tower to arc de triomphe is very far if not um, if it's like 30 minutes i'll try and do it um but yeah i will try and maybe go from the eiffel tower first to the arc and then I can maybe spend a bit more time by Arc de Triomphe. And then tomorrow morning, I will go to the Louvre. I'll try to go early in the morning. And I was told to wear comfortable shoes. So today, I'm in all brown with these boots. Um, so yeah, I don't really think I can last all day in these. Like I was told to dress warmly for the Louvre, uh, dress comfortably. So um, yeah, let us get going. Warriors 
answer for a little word Trust yourself and you get hurt Tell yourself it's so absurd For letter words For letter words I hate it when you're like this You never get excited Did you get struck by lightning? Don't hide it, no Don't hide it, no So I just took the cab and it's actually quite nice at the side. I feel like the buildings are obviously nicer because we're closer to the Eiffel Tower. So I'm literally just going to walk and obviously people will look at me like I'm crazy because I'm vlogging. But yeah, these are my memories. So I'm just literally going to walk, use my Google Maps, decide on um, what I want to do. I actually just realized I should have still worn my huggy earrings. I feel like these ones are a little too much for me. Um, but I want to take, I know there's like a famous street where you can take a photo with like the Eiffel Tower in the background. So I obviously want to do that, but I'm going to have to ask someone to take me. So. We're just gonna walk this way. Um, I think I did go back though. I was supposed to go the other way. But it's so gray, so cold. So yeah, and this is my little map that I'm gonna be using for today to get me around. And yeah, my feet are freezing. If the Eiffel Tower is there, I just came from here. Let's walk this way maybe through the park and see if we find anything that way. The roads here are like so small. My feet are freezing. I can't believe it. So there it is. I feel like I should have come a little later towards the night time so that I can see it sparkle. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I literally have the Eiffel Tower right in front of me. This wind is going to annoy my eyes. But there we go. Try find a spot where I can take a picture. So, so it looks like maybe I should try find a spot. Actually, let me vlog this way. I should try find a spot where uh, I can eat. Still can't believe I get to see this. And as you can see in there, people are like taking the stairs to go up, I guess. And you have like a better view. So I came to the other side just to get a different view. I don't think I'll be able to get a picture today. Um, it's just so cold and annoying. But on the other side, as you can see, it's like uh, this is a famous street that people actually take on like at night so that's the line over there you can stand in the middle and like take photos but obviously you should have someone to take you this is a disadvantage of traveling solo so yeah Found 
the famous, let's see the angle first of all, street. <laughs> Alright, so that's what it looks like. It's the exit. So I'm done sightseeing now. I even made a friend that helped me take pictures. So I'm waiting for my Uber now to get back to the hotel. It is freezing, my hands are frozen. I can't even breathe, my nose is running. So it's time to go now. Well, I'm not plugged in anyway. Yeah, cause it's a mess. Hey guys, so I'm back at the hotel now. As you can see, my eye wouldn't stop tearing. But it's so cold outside, like my toes are literally freezing. My hands were frozen. I was starting to feel like I'm gonna get sick. So I was just like, you know what? Let me go. I was planning to walk to the Arc de Triomphe. But I was just like, I don't really think I want to be getting sick right now. So I think I'll do that tomorrow together with the Louvre. Um, so I'm literally just going to jump into bed. Maybe make a cup of tea. But I am freezing. My back is so painful. So I think I should just try get warm for a little bit. Otherwise, I am going to get sick. So yeah, I was going to stay for the Eiffel Tower again, but today is just too cold. It's not like the other days. Like when I woke up, I could tell that it was freezing. Um, and I met like such a sweet girl. She was black as well. She was trying to take herself photos. So we ended up helping each other and we like took each other photos. So I'm just going to quickly go through some of them and see which ones I like. But yeah, that was my day today basically that's it um i don't know i'll try maybe go out but the problem is that the ubers are also so expensive so like to go it cost me 20 euro which if you convert is like 300 rand so i basically spend 600 to go see the eiffel tower and come back i ended up just buying like a hot dog which i ate it was like eight euros so that was not bad but yeah um my back is sore let me quickly get into the bed because i cannot so i've changed into the robe because wow it's cold and there's actually no blankets in this hotel maybe if i get colder i should ask for one but i just ordered some dinner so i'm just having a beef burger with these sweet potato fries because it's definitely one thing I can trust and I've been hardly eating. So, yeah, and a Coke because I need some sugar in my system. So, today's Sunday. I decided to use this as a rest day because the Metro by Me is basically closed for today. And the next one is like quite a distance to walk to. And I wanted to actually like layer my things up of what i want to do in a day in case i want to take an uber because it's very expensive um so i just started to take today as a rest day because i was very tired from last week so um yeah i'm just gonna i think change into something warm and then maybe go eat dinner outside because the room service options are not so great and i just want like a nice meal but just look at there is already like traffic um so that's one thing that also sometimes makes the uber a bit expensive is the traffic i don't know if i should ask to move because it's kind of annoying me the fact that i'm like facing these office buildings i think i'd rather face the other side but i'm not too sure if i want to have like the stress of unpacking and of packing and unpacking again so yeah um i've just decided i will do the louvre next week and then um since i'm gonna go to the office for a couple of days this week i will try do Arc de triomphe after work or i will also do it on saturday or sunday um 
yeah it's gonna be easier that way guys i don't think solo travel is for me like i just can't do it i feel like i just get so sad seeing other people with their, like their friends and family and you have someone to take your pictures whereas you are there on your own some people don't even speak english you ask them to take your pictures they're like in a rush and don't really want to take you photos so i think that's one thing that's making me lazy to actually go out um but yeah um i think um not sure if abigail's gonna be back by sunday but i was told that the first sunday of the month the louvre is free so maybe we could do that and save ourselves some money um so yeah basically saw the eiffel tower yesterday we did drive past the louvre on friday but i obviously didn't go in and see it and i have a couple of photos that i actually want to take so i need someone to take me um so yeah i'm gonna do the louvre on sunday so maybe saturday i can try go to the eiffel tower again um i definitely am going to go during the week in the evening and see it sparkle because i still haven't seen that um, but yeah, I definitely think I am coming back in the summertime with my sister. So hopefully um, that's possible. But I definitely want to come before my visa expires um, and do like a mini Euro trip. So maybe we can plan that together and definitely come. But yeah, I'm definitely putting my leave days to use this year. Because like everything has some sort of cheese or dairy in it so my neck is very itchy but yeah hey guys so it is 7 30 and i'm off to dinner it was a late dinner i was feeling lazy but i just told myself let me get up and go because if i don't i'll end up eating room service food again um so i feel like something different so just gonna walk across the road it's about a five minute walk and see what restaurants are open there and then we can eat whatever is there so let us get going i'm actually not dressed because i just put on a pair of jeans coat and a scarf so let us get going she's putting all our, our cars down on the table knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one but she's somebody else in the making first She's just gotta stop all the faking And she'll be there But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like this forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like this whenever She leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Hey guys welcome back so this is officially week two in paris um we had a hectic week here last week and mainly spent it at the hotel so with this week um yes i'll be working but i think i'll be commuting from tomorrow to the office so um i thought i might as well start a new vlog so that you guys sort of kind of kind of spend a work uh week let me try to see yeah so that you guys can spend a work week with me um basically take the metro with me because that's what i'll be using go to the office with me see what spots i visit for lunch and yeah um so yeah this week has been a weird start um i'm not gonna go into details on why but i decided to work from home today um which i'm not gonna go into the details i decided to work from home so i'm just catching up on my emails that i didn't manage to get through last week and just get through like most of my admin so that tomorrow i can start like officially getting back into the string of things hey guys so just realized that i didn't come back to start of the vlog because i received a call so i basically had to answer and then i got so caught up with work um but yeah i'm about to go for dinner i just got ready going to try out a vietnamese restaurant asian it's close by it's like 10 minutes 
dry from here so i thought why not um i wasn't really hungry but i just decided let me go out um but yeah i'm gonna try something closer to the office tomorrow because the office is like located in a very good area it's close to la concarte trying to pronounce it like the french word la concarte uh, or la concarte well in english it would be la concarde the concarde but in french i think it's la concarde if you are french you can you know help me out with the pronunciation but um yeah i'm not too sure if i'm able to walk to arc de triomphe from there but it should be a, be a little bit of a distance so i'll try to dress comfortably so that after work if i do decide to go take a walk there then i'm able to um but yeah i'm just gonna go out, try out this restaurant i don't know i've been feeling really shy when it comes to vlogging because i mean apart from being the very like few melanated people in a room taking out a camera just makes it even worse so yeah i'm going to try get bureau if i can if i feel too shy then i won't guys um but yeah going to do that and hopefully it's not too cold outside because i didn't put on boots today i basically just put on a pair of sneakers but i'm hoping that the restaurant is actually warm so yeah let's go good morning guys today is tuesday just finished breakfast and i'm about to head off to the office i'm just packing my bag and then i'm gonna go take the metro but i just thought i would come on here i didn't really vlog yesterday like the restaurant was literally like i was sitting right next to the person on the left and right next to the person on the right so it was just going to be awkward taking out a camera in front of them but yeah um i'll try to get some b-roll on my way to the office but I just thought I'd come on here and say hi to you guys. I'm in all black today. That will make her feel better. Make her feel better. Then that's where she'll go. That's where she'll go. Hey guys. So, done with work now. And I'm using Google Maps to guide me back to the metro so that I can get my way back to the hotel. It's getting dark already and it's only 17.46. Um, just thought I would try vlog for you guys because I didn't show face in the morning because I was actually running late. Um, so I'll try vlog in the morning tomorrow because I've kind of figured my way out now. Um, I just need to try get a ticket for the week because I can't be buying a ticket every single day. So I think I've figured out the quickest way to get to the office because I used a different route this morning um, which had like a lot of turns but then this one is like so much easier. So let's go so that we don't get lost. So I decided to use a different route. I think I've been seeing people come from this way just trying to get lost a little but not too lost so yeah it's already dark now guys can you see I actually played myself but it's a little bit warmer now I didn't carry a scarf this morning but thank god the temperatures went up a little bit I think the highest was like seven or nine I think it was seven degrees um, so yeah, just have to double check tomorrow and plan what I'm wearing. Definitely wearing jeans tomorrow because a lot more people here that casual when they go to work. Um, so yeah, I kind of see the meeting rooms we're using last week. I hope there's a way through here. Yep, there is. And there's that. Like, a store here which is almost closed so that's my hotel there and it extends to this side as well so yeah and then i'm here it's literally like a short walk from where the metro is for me so it's not too bad actually i'm enjoying it and i think also because it's just so safe and you don't have to look over your shoulder only if you're in the metro in like crowded places you have to worry about like pickpocketers but that's about it <laughs> good 
morning guys so off to the office now just thought i would quickly vlog in the morning just to show you guys my little walk to the metro i am running a little late so it's just through this little village that i live close to so yeah hey guys welcome back it's currently 8 40 and i'm walking towards the eiffel tower because i want to see it sparkle i haven't seen it i feel like i need to see it more than once so i thought today could be a start to sort of figure out how long of a walk it is it says it's a 30 minute walk i'm trying to bring it down because by the time i arrive the sparkle would be done i can see it but obviously because i don't know which direction i'm going this could possibly be taking me the longest route because i can see it from here like if you can see at the back there there it is but i don't know if i should maybe try and go through there but also it's a very huge thing so it might look close from here when it's actually not um i think i should be going that way going through the garden um so yeah it might actually look like it's close by when it's actually not it is freezing I'm being brave by doing this because it should actually be somewhere warm right now but yeah i just thought i'd update you guys it says i'll arrive at 1910 the sparkle would be done by then and i don't have to i don't want to have to wait for like um an additional 50 minutes because it happens every hour but i guess even if i see it from where i am but then also i'm risking it because i don't know where my train ride is going to be after that so yeah i'm not too sure if this is the louvre museum this one here i just have to double check let's see it's some sort of museum if you guys can see so yeah you can see it says 27 minutes to go this is far I'm trying all I'm trying to do is see that thing there sparkle and get like a reel but it just seems so close but yet so far I have a better view here but it's still too far I want to get it like really close so maybe it's time to run so I didn't get close enough but I mean I guess I get to see it that's what it looks like I'm sure it looks better from closer so I'll try walk closer and then get one from when I'm there definitely want to get closer let me see it's an eight minute walk i would have missed this one then maybe i can catch the next one let us definitely walk towards it so that we can see it's walking more i made it after walking 30 minutes i made it wasn't that bad though I am, I've waited guys, I've done my 30, well more than 30 minutes, like 45 minutes of waiting, so now it's going to sparkle in less than 5 minutes, so I want to go stand like somewhere that side, so that I can get like a good view of it and I can see it to full, and then after that I have to walk about 10 minutes to the closest train station so that I can head back to the hotel. I thought I was gonna eat like dinner close by, but I'm not gonna do that. So I want a view from that side. So I'm gonna go stand on that side. So we're gonna time it and see if it looks different from close by. Let's see. Oh, 
Hat er Fleisch? Hey guys, so I'm back home. Well, back at my hotel now. Jeez, like the um, what can I say? The effort put in to just go see the Eiffel Tower sparkle. I walked a whole 30 minutes to the Eiffel Tower. My like everything is frozen from my bum to my toes. Well, it's starting to like defrost now. You know when you can start feeling your body, it's that it's getting warm again. But yeah, it's currently nine. I just want to decide what I'm going to eat because yo, this girl has to sleep because I haven't walked that much in a while. Like, I hit 12,000 steps today, guys. But, yeah, um, I just got back. Um, yeah, I just want to decide what I'm going to eat. I realized I didn't show you guys what I was wearing. I basically dressed very chilled today, very casual. That's one thing I love about Europe. Like, you can literally dress casual to the office and everyone's gonna be okay with it um so yeah the walk was the walk there i think i was like excited because i obviously wanted to see it sparkle from close by um and obviously you guys saw i missed the first one because i was still far so the first one happened when i was like i think was it eight minutes away i think it was eight minutes away or five something like that so i then got closer found a really nice bench and i literally sat there and spoke to my mom and sister via whatsapp because my sister's traveling back to uh joburg today so i literally just sat there and thank god her flight was kind of delayed so they kept me company i video called them showed them the eiffel tower um so yeah i was chilling there and then as soon as it started, before it started sparking, I think like six minutes before I walked towards where I was the other time so that I had like a good position. But obviously we couldn't be on the road because of the police. The police were waiting there. Guys, not this girl removing her coat and literally having just underwear. And you see when they say content is killing the youth? Content is not only killing the youth in South A, uh, but all over the world. Oh girl, literally had just a bra and um underwear underneath her coat and so um when it started sparkling i'm thinking she was taking content for like a brand or something because there's no ways you want to be and guys she was wearing a thong so her whole ass was out and like people weren't really causing a scene as how they would in south africa so yeah i thought we were crazy but we're not crazy we're not crazy like that so um she literally took her content she was naked she was walking up and down and naked and a new girl i was just like oh my god yeah people have the liver but i mean she had a nice body so i don't blame her so yeah after that i walked to the nearest train station which is about a 10 12 minute walk so i literally did my steps today so i walked there um then yeah i had to get out and connect into it's crazy how these boots make me taller i had to connect and get into another train which wasn't so far from me and then obviously walked through the village to come home i was pressed um and i wasn't so decided on what i wanted to eat i feel like i should have ordered when i was there because now i'm lazy to walk again i want to try some place it's called five guys and apparently um not apparently it says it sells um burgers and chips that's what i felt like but i was just like do i really want something that's not healthy should i maybe order the one from the hotel because it comes with like sweet potato fries let me see what i can order from here and then yeah because i'm not in the mood to walk out again and my feet are sore now i need to figure out what i'm gonna wear tomorrow so that i'm not late because today i was a little bit late <laughs> But yeah, I love the fact that my makeup is still intact even though I'm like oily But it's still intact. I think when I get back home I'm gonna go back for my smile lines because I can definitely see that they're coming back and they tend to bother me So yeah Let's figure out what we think So it's tradition for my sister and I to like try out McDonald's whenever we travel because they all taste different but 
I don't even know what to try. Like, they completely have, like, different stuff from us. The only thing I see is, like, Big Mac, double cheeseburger. Um, that's kind of, like, the same. And the McChicken. This. I wonder what that is. And then they have, like, wraps that look like that. They also have wings. Let's see. <clears throat> so here is my dinner for tonight. I was so lazy to go back outside and it's almost 10. Um, so I just ordered a pizza. I shouldn't be eating cheese, but I wanted something different. I shouldn't be drinking Coke. I had one in the afternoon. But you know what? Yeah. Another late evening, but I'm heading home now. So, I don't think you guys can hear me, but it's one show face. I'm heading home now. Uh, and it's like 6.18? No, 6.16. I love how it's so normal to like leave work and pass like Gucci stores. There's Dior over there. You guys can see Chanel. So yeah. Night strolls in Paris. We finally made it happen. So, which one? Chase got good lighting. I think that way is good. So, I ordered some McDonald's because, of course, I want to try it. So, this comes packed already in a box and a bag like that. Let me just calculate to make you guys realize how much I actually spent. So I ordered a royal bacon and then they had wings from McDonald's. I've never had wings, so I wanted to try that out. Um, and then I ordered a donut as a dessert. Um, and then I just ordered two ketchups because one thing about Europe, they will charge you for your sauces. So my total was 24 euro and 20 cents. Let's see how much that is in rands. Euro to rand. So the euro is currently 1 is to 18.63. So I'm going to say 24.20. So my meal basically cost me 450. Just to put it into perspective for you guys. Um, so yeah, that's why when tourists come over to South Africa for them our things are like super cheap because uh, the coke comes like that our things are like super cheap for them because obviously their currency is far much stronger than ours I'm guessing the donut is in here um, so yeah this is my little meal Got my chips here. Mm. They don't really taste like the ones from home. I didn't order nuggets, I ordered wings. That's very confusing. They gave me nuggets instead of wings so it doesn't make sense and here's the ketchup that i paid 40 cents for so let's see how much is that 0 0.40 i paid 77 rand and 45 cents for this so i paid 14 rand 
for this whereas in south africa i could basically buy a big ketchup so i got a royal cheese that's what it looks like and it's actually quite small it's almost the size of like a cheeseburger i ordered it because it's got bacon so let's try it Mm. it's not giving it's definitely not giving look at how you drink your coke I'm quite disappointed to be honest I'm not happy <clears throat> one thing I'll say for sure they packed a lot of chips in here compared to us mm. I'm going to eat my seven rand ketchup because there's no way a sachet should be seven rand so if you're watching this this is why i always say living in south africa yes it's nice because life is good but it puts you at a disadvantage because you could be getting paid well in south africa but then if you compare it to other people like in other countries for example compared to people who live in europe or if you decide to visit europe you are 18 times behind or you have 18 times less money than you have so your money is only good enough for South Africa whereas with living in any other country you had an advantage because if you travel you still have your money's worth I don't know if that makes sense so for example if you lived in South Africa and you decide you want to retire overseas you can't do that because you basically have no money whereas with them if they decide they want to retire in south africa they have 18 times the money than what we have so that's definitely one thing to always think about um if you decide you want to stay in south africa forever or if you ever decide you want to relocate so yeah i'm just gonna eat this try enjoy it they didn't even give me sauce for the chicken nuggets They don't taste like the ones from home. But they taste good. They're not bad. I just really wanted to try the wings. So I'm quite disappointed with that. But yeah, I'm going to eat this. And then remove my makeup and get to sleep, guys. Like waking up early every day and finishing late is really exhausting. But yeah. Hey, guys. So I'm in like an area trying to look for a store to get a phone tripod because tomorrow I plan on having like a day out and I wanted to have like pictures where I can take myself but of course the tripod that I have that I use at home is too big so I just took the train, the metro, um, took me like 10 minutes to get here and then it's like a 10 minute walk so yeah the joys of being in a safe country where you can literally walk in the evenings and not stress much about anything so yeah i'm hoping i do find it because if i don't my dreams are going to be shattered like into pieces but it's still cold my face is cold if i could get like a face mask for my face I definitely would but let me show you guys the area so there's like a lot more apartments here as you can see there's like a lot more buildings there was a McDonald's here that I saw I think that's the one I ordered from yesterday I'm guessing this is where most of the people people 
live but it's safe guys definitely safe you are my vlog <laughs> wait let me quickly vlog hi guys so um i went to the store and i didn't find the tripod and like the store was a store in a store so it was just like a little corner so it was small so i didn't find it now i'm walking back to the metro and have tandy on whatsapp video because she's keeping me company but yeah i guess i'm gonna have to ask uh no not really i'm gonna have to ask a random stranger to take me a photo tomorrow at the louvre um but yeah hopefully it works out we'll see bye guys She's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever she leaves her I'm left Sephora now This palette looks nice Don't know what you guys think But it's like 57 euro And I've seen this mascara on someone I'm not sure if it's great <coughs> And then they also have I don't know what brand this is but Then they have Tarte Their eyeshadows are so much better, uh, so much cheaper. I mean, this looks like something I would use. 39, let's see, 39, or let's say 40 times 18, 720. But also, the lighting in here is giving. And then there is YSL makeup never tried <laughs> I've actually seen people rave about this um, let me try it on my hand and see but like there's a Chanel counter there's Guerlain on this side so Abigail made me try junk food this is what I'm trying from a place called Five Guys because of her. Ah, uh, yeah. So let's see how it tastes. She leaves her safe space. Wondering if it is forever or is this not us getting lost. I've been doing fine in the metro without this girl, but because she's so stubborn, as soon as she arrives, we get lost. Like, I don't understand. Explain to me. Like, it says on here where we should go, but she wants to argue with me as if she is the actual Google Maps. Oh, yes. I'm used to. <laughs> we made it but we don't know where the exit is because all we want to do is be out oh softy but yeah the line is like crazy crazy but we don't have time to go in so the location you put in is for the museum not for the not for? Not for the outside. <laughs> what is um, the history by the way? What is the thing? They've got like a lot of art, so they've got like African art, they've got French art, and then obviously the most famous painting. The Mona Lisa. I thought it was just the Yeah, but then it's like one of the most famous museums in the world. So that is why, but the queue is just so crazy. So we are not going to go in. You look so cute with your. I look like a Google <laughs> So we're like out by the gardens. Came in through that entrance. 
Ah, ve. <laughs> oh God, we're like we're looking for the pyramid thing. Yeah, we're gonna go take a picture no, closer, from but here, geez. With that ah, okay, but don't you want with that? No, with the first with this, you know you can take La famous Louvre. The Louvre. Guys, do you see the number of people that are there and it just opened? That's crazy. Now imagine what it must be like in the summer, actually. If that's the number of people that are there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Final days. I think I'm only coming back here in the summer. Never again in the winter. <laughs> Madam, keep right, pass left. <laughs> in South Africa, that rule would never work. Like, keep right, pass left. People would just keep wherever they want to. So. There's some place that'll make her feel better Make her feel better And that's where she'll go Hey guys, so just got back home now Um, it's been a crazy week honestly, to be honest um yeah so basically last week i spent the week at work uh, working from the office so obviously couldn't really vlog much and then i was like oh my gosh you know saturday i'm gonna go sightseeing again and guess what woke up and there was no hot water my hair was very dirty like literally i don't know i've been struggling with like dandruff i had like dandruff flakes all over my hair which was just concerning so i obviously couldn't shower and i was like i'm not going to be walking around the streets of paris without having taken a shower and having like dandruff flakes on my hair if i at least had a beanie i would have been able to like you know go sightsee and not have like stress so i was like um i'll do it on sunday but then unfortunately yesterday we had to work so literally spent the entire day working um so that's why Abigail and I just quickly rushed to like see it today just so that you know we can at least have seen it and have a memory of it. I am definitely planning to come back to Paris most probably in the summertime. I just feel like Europe is so much better to travel and see in the summer when it's warmer than it is to do it um, in the winter time because it's like very cold and you can't really get much done and you're just like frustrated because it's cold and like you're not enjoying and then like the trees are dry everything is dry so yeah um, i went to the louvre and then i had to help um abigail go look for some clothing because um her luggage didn't arrive so we did that and then um yeah now we're back we're just gonna quickly have lunch and do a bit of work and then we have a meeting later on and then our um, um workshop basically starts tomorrow so yeah we need to prepare for all of that so i just thought i'd come on here and update you guys we did a lot of walking today but it was definitely fun but cold um so yeah um, i was thinking of coming back and like extending my stay but when i calculated it's not worth it to do it in the summer so i'll just save that money and come back and ex um enjoy friends with my sister and my mom i definitely want to bring my mom here because i know she's been wanting to visit so maybe like a little girl's summer trip is what we can do but yeah just thought i'd come update you guys and obviously just show off my makeup my face is a little dry today i'm not understanding but this is what it looks like
Wait, I can't see you. It's not on now. Wait. Yeah, now I can see you. I said hello to the Did you? Did you? On the way down there, guys. On a long day. Good job. We're literally staying right by the airport. Are we doing vlogmas? <laughs> it's not vlogmas. No, vlogmas. Vlog day something. I said it's been a long day. Ah, okay, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, we're literally staying right by the airport. We're in Switzerland. I didn't even tell you guys. We're in Switzerland, guys, because we are street lovers. <laughs> so yeah, we're staying at the Radisson by Zurich Airport, and then. We leave tomorrow morning, heading back to Paris, then Joburg. This girl is staying in Europe for a couple of more days. Enjoy. Yes, my battery is flashing yes, now. Cool. But yeah, just an update. I'll update you guys probably. Hey guys, so I actually haven't vlogged the entire week. Um, yeah, it's just been like one hell of a crazy week so we actually lost a colleague which is why we are in switzerland zurich today because today was the funeral so we flew over for the funeral and then i'll be flying back um, to paris tomorrow morning and then i'll take the evening flight back to Joburg um, tomorrow looking forward to going back home i'm so exhausted um but yeah so today was just a very difficult day went to the funeral um, and now we are at a hotel close to the airport I will come show you guys what it looks like when we've gone down for dinner because Abigail and I are both exhausted we woke up very early um, and yeah it's kind of late it's been a long day you know how funerals are I feel like they just kind of exhaust you um, but yeah um, so it's literally just one day in Zurich and then back home tomorrow i might go sightsee when i arrive because my flight lands at 12 and i only fly out at 9 again so i've got i can like try be up and about for about four hours if i do it till four and head, head back to the airport um at four so that i can be there maybe at around five six that would be great but yeah you guys will get to spend the day with me tomorrow i actually need to charge this battery um but yeah that's gonna be around about it in terms of the paris vlog i'm sorry guys i couldn't vlog as much it's just been like like i said we've lost a colleague i was also here working so there just wasn't a lot of time to do anything and also it's winter time which means that it's a very cold and makes it difficult for you to get about so yeah um let us go down and have dinner with Abigail and then I'll come back up and show you guys what the room looks like. So we're having to do something McDonald's because I did say my plan is to try McDonald's in every country. Okay. So far I've done South Africa, Italy, France, Switzerland. And South Africa is still the best. I said France. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, so just finished with dinner. I mean, I'm gonna quickly do a room tour. So as you enter, you've got this open plan sort of like bathroom, and then you have the like rail where you can hang your clothing, ironing board. Don't know where the iron is though. That's very weird. Ah, it's down there. So iron ironing board, you've got your tea station. Kind of weird to have it right by the bath. So I have my luggage here. I haven't unpacked. Um, most of my stuff is in my hand luggage, which is right over here. And then as you walk in, the shower and toilet are right next to each other. So this is the shower. Um, yeah, we ended up booking the wrong hotel. I actually didn't tell you guys. So the first Radisson Blue that we went to, that wasn't the hotel we are actually staying at. We accidentally bought um, Radisson um, Zurich Airport. So it's just about a 
five to ten minute drive from the Radisson Blue. Would have hoped to be at that one because that was literally walking distance to the airport. But yeah, let us continue. So then from there, you have your toilet in here, which is that. And then we have, um, yeah, so the other part of the bathroom is here where you can get ready, um, mirrors and everything. I don't understand why there's no door here but anyways um we have a mirror and then there is the bed so this is the bed and then it's got like a seating station um and then like a painting of switzerland or a picture you've got your tv there that has been hung up you've got like a workstation don't know if i mentioned that a bin workstation and then of course this is the outside um yeah so a lot of apartments in europe usually have these here that are like to keep the cold outside so basically what's here is like there's a mcdonald's downstairs i actually don't know how to open these i don't know how you open these so as you guys can see there's a mcdonald's right by us and we tried it and then it's the parking lot and then the main road to the airport it is freezing like it's yeah freezing so basically this is the hotel room and yeah it's literally just for one night then i'm heading to back to the airport in the morning so yeah this is basically it during the day not at night so i'm here now i'm literally traveling with my little bag and my backpack so i think i'll shower when i arrive at the airport but i just want to show you guys what it looks like so this is what it looks like during day guys i'm definitely coming back here in the summer i don't know why i yeah i thought coming all the way here in this cold was a good idea but it is freezing see when you have someone to take you photos it's like so nice because literally you don't stand here like me and just take pictures of the actual building let's try to get some reels with it Ghost is real excited. 
exhausting I'm in love, but I don't think it's what I thought it was Supposed to be love story No guts and no glory How did I get so dizzy thinking of you? I don't usually get like this It's something about you I miss How pretty is this wall or like building it's covered in like this wallpaper outdoor wallpaper and it says Dior on it very nice it's something about you I miss could it be we never had that kiss well I don't usually take a shower because I've had a long day so I'm gonna shower first and then I'm going to grab something to eat and at least that way I'll be more relaxed so yeah let me actually just show you guys around I'm gonna spring because he's like do these that clean that are right outside so it's quite small so I've just hanged my coat over there there's a space to put like your bags there's a hair dryer thank God and then that's the mirror obviously to help you get ready sink have my phone and my glasses there towel toilet and shower and the nice thing is that you get to use like clarence products so that's very cool she loves me she loves me not this bouquet it's all I got, I'm dreaming Or could it be a future for you and me? She loves me, I know it's true Or maybe I'm the fool for you I don't usually get like this It's something about you I miss
It's not easy, but I'm feeling stronger. 